so um I know that there's a lot of things that you can't talk about when it comes to your job because um, you guys are doing top secret kind of stuff. Um, but um, maybe there is like a, a nugget of wisdom that you can share, um, something that you have been working with that's already like um, possible to talk about with us. Uh, for example, the e-commerce parser? Yeah, sure. I would love to hear about that part. Um, I'm assuming that as soon as you came here to Oxylabs, um, that was like the very first project that you worked on. Is that right? Yeah, like one of a few. Okay. So what exactly is that? Can you can you tell me about it? The universal e-commerce project. Yeah, so the, the point of a team overall was to um, get the knowledge in machine learning first, then apply that knowledge in everyday, let's say, situations, everyday problems. Uh, so once you sort of understand the potential, you, you start to look for the spots where you can use it to um, either save the costs or either save time, which is also money. So uh, first we targeted some, um, some particular points where, for example, you as a developer spend a lot of time, or maybe not a lot of time, but spend some time reacting to um, some failures of the parser because every domain that you're trying to parse pretty much i mean they're similar in a sense for example by the categories but they're still different by the structure of the web or or you know it better you know mm -hmm. so we tried to use uh, machine learning as this holistic approach so that we're giving it some features some information about um about the similarities between those domains, for example, in the in the, the whole internet, and then we're trying to make it uh, use those um, use those similarities to sort of automate our tasks. So instead of the developer going to um, to look for the problem and see why a particular field or particular information isn't passed, we use first the machine learning algorithm, which would, let's say, um, solve 80% of our problems. And I mean, it would be ideal, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then 20% still remains for the developers for the manual job, but we reduce it by, you know, by like four fifths. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was one of the goals, uh, just to, to apply this as a, as a tool, you know, because it's machine learning, AI, it always, those buzzwords are somewhere there. Mm 